good morning. Wait, it's not morning. <laughs> good afternoon. I'm so happy that you're here. Oh, We're the bed. Daily vlogging. The bed. It is so big. <laughs> James has a big ball of Play-Doh. Um, and it's kind of chaotic in here. I do have a little bit more gusto today. You can hear the dishwasher going. I caught up on laundry, but also there's just like weird weather here in Orlando today. Really windy. It's going to be stormy tonight. Um, so I'm gonna make some yummy chili. I'll do a little cook with me, which I haven't done. I did a couple during this this little vlogging stint, but that was like more so like easy stuff. So I'm gonna be making a white bean chicken chili, which will be half for tonight and half to freeze for when the baby arrives. Um, so yeah, that feels good to be a little bit productive there. We also froze like half a thing of lasagna from Easter and I have so much of that cheese and even some sauce left so I think we're also going to prep some stuffed shells. So we might just be kind of nesting mode, kind of cozy rainy night mode tonight. Thank you. I don't remember if we got these cups, when we got these cups, but they were part of like a big, like discounted, I think it might've been even with like the 100th anniversary, I don't know, but they're so cute, vintage inspired. Um, so I'm gonna have a little orange juice kombucha, sparkling water cocktail while I cook. First up, we have a little bit more than half of an onion cooking in some butter and olive oil. Just decided to Give it a little, little extra oomph today. Minced garlic, like maybe three cloves worth. Salt and pepper. We're gonna cook the onions until they're translucent. So another little hack I do recently, and I mean like, it's not always necessary, but sometimes like the task of cooking is daunting and this just like helps me to stick to making something. Um, and that is buying like a pre-shredded, like already rotisserie chicken. Aldi has a good one. This one is from Walmart. It's actually adobo seasoned. So um, again, it like kind of keeps me on track to be like, we have this, you know, like it's going to be tasty, um, but the like actual task of cooking isn't as daunting then. And I've shared before that like during this pregnancy, I really just, I have struggled with that motivation. So that's just a little trick up up my sleeve. Doesn't take as much time then to prepare. Don't have to think about it as much. Um, yeah, just a nice little, little hack that's helped. So now I'm gonna add in these green chilies, seven ounces worth. I think Evie is starting to get scared by the wind, which really doesn't happen, but she just thinks people are outside. Um, so I just have everything cooking and now it's time to add in the beans. I'm gonna do two cans of great white northern beans and then the seasoning, which I'm just using like a McCormick's white chicken chili pack. Um, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here, but again, name of the game is easy and tasty. So lastly, I'm gonna basically cover the beans and chicken in this bone broth. Again, like nice, good nutrients. Um, so I'm gonna cover that and then just let it cook. Oh, there is one more thing I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add in this little cornstarch slurry just to thicken it up a little bit. I just want it to be a chili and not a soup. Then I'm gonna go a little rogue and add in some sour cream to make it a little creamier and a tiny bit of this hot sauce. It is really hot, so I'm really only going to use a little bit, but just for, just for a little smoky kick. And here it is. The sour cream definitely like helped balance out all of the spices going on because it kind of felt like overdrive with the adobo chicken and the packet. Like it definitely mellowed that out, which was my goal. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend that or like heavy whipping cream. Um, but yeah, just gonna let this cook for two hours. Hopefully it'll get a little bit thicker and we'll have plenty to eat and save. And then I actually got cornbread mix 
to make with it. I don't know where our muffin tin is. Um, so I was gonna make muffins, but I'll just have to make a loaf. Um, and then we do have sausages. I don't know how the kids will eat that. Like, I feel like they like those flavors, but I don't know if they'll eat it. They haven't been like really soupy lately, but we'll see. I forgot to show the, the first helping with. Oh, this Play-Doh snowman. We're, we're playing Play-Doh all day today. Um, I forgot to show the first helping. Looked a little prettier in the bowl, but it was really tasty, if I do say so myself. So dinner was good, but our afternoon did take a turn because I ran outside to pick up like the cushions from our patio furniture and toys because it's been so windy and I didn't realize that they had literally been like all over the place and I think that that triggered me to have a migraine so like I was like head down head up head down head up and the whatever like it just didn't feel good caused me to lose my vision to have a pretty bad headache but we've been able to kind of like combat that so feeling a lot better now but it hit me like a ton of bricks nice train choo choo <gasps> that looks cool how about you make a snake all right it is late already 7 30 we put on with i think sarah and the boys watched it earlier but but i put on for the background now for myself and i'm hanging out with the boys while sarah's editing and doing an acs call you guys want to know something? So I went to the office today for like my last office visit before Charlie's arrival on my paternity leave. Um, it took me an hour to get to the office and then took like an hour and 40 minutes to get home from the office. Another reason why I do not like going to the office and why I love remote life. But um, came home, had dinner with the family, and now we're just playing and... Uh, Sarah's upstairs going to do an ACS com a Run Disney committee call because it's almost another Run Disney weekend. Um, so that's going on and I've got to do a little bit of homework later. It's been raining, so I'm going to have to run. Who knows how long or when with the rain, but it's 7.30 now. Um, and I'm just going to hang out with the boys before bedtime because it's not far from bedtime already and I feel like I just got home. That is going to the office. Am I right? I've been very lucky and great. I've been, all these years now, I've been able to do remote work. Especially with these here boys. The train. A Spider Man. Spider Man in a car. All right, so it is 8.40. I think the rain has stopped. I'm gonna do something potentially outlandish. I'm gonna go for my run now. And why is that potentially outlandish? Because I'm gonna bring the boys with me. They're awake. Sarah's just got off her our Run Disney ACS committee meeting, or oh, sure she did. I stopped by to say hi. Hey. Uh, our friend Kyra has been on maternity leave and she made a guest appearance in that committee call. Um, so I had to come say hi. Um, so to not, this is, I'm, I'm hoping the kids, try to like get them to be going on with me more frequently so they get used to it and can enjoy it. You got your giraffe? So we're gonna have to bring these animals with us run. But I need to get my shoes on, get the double stroller, double running stroller out, and convince them to come and run with me for like the next 20 minutes, and then it's like win-win. So hanging out with the boys while Sarah is able to finish the vlog before bedtime, and it's not like eating up my night. It's like I hear rain. Let me check. A little dark, a little a little moist out, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get two miles in with the kids in the stroller. Okay. Yeah? You got your hippo? Yeah. Big hippo. You hear a fox? Or an owl? Or a sneak? Yeah. Let's keep an eye out for him. We have Charlie all cuddled up to Teddy while he has his end of the day milk. Usually to wind down, we just like chill in the loft, 
we watched this YouTube video compilation of, I just type in Disney Lullaby, and it's exactly that, just like little animations, like Playhouse Disney characters and Mickey and Minnie and all of that, so, um, yeah, we just wind down. Actually, I need to turn the overhead light off. <sighs> and then we'll head into their bedroom for stories. I think it took us a bit to come up, like, to be consistent with a bedtime routine. Um, just being more, like, on the fly people. Um, but I think we finally, like, we've really been doing the same thing for a while and it works great for us. Um, and that's like we go in to James's room, we all read stories together, and then we brush their teeth and floss their teeth, and then we have like three or four songs that we sing, and then we separate and one of us puts down, we, we switch off each night, um, which has been really important as we like get ready for Charlie's arrival if things go like how they had in the past and according to plan, I will be nursing Charlie and um, he'll have like less of a routine as like a newborn, um, but I will probably be more Charlie focused. And so it's been just like, it's just funny cause like I was more Teddy focused when he was a baby baby, but now it's certainly not that way. Like Peter, you know, like we definitely like balance that. Um, but for a long time we did, you know, like the default was Peter to James and me to Teddy when I was nursing. So, um, he's still a hair twirler. Um, but yeah, we have been working on that, so we switch off. I think my night tonight is with James. And maybe, I don't know if Peter has schoolwork. We'll probably like more so like close up downstairs first. And then if Peter has schoolwork and I work on the vlog. Or that's when we get to the we get to decide do we just crash or do we rally? But yeah, it all depends on how bedtime goes. Okay, we got 1.2 miles in. Kids are doing great. Saw some lightning. Never messed around with lightning friends, so then we turned around and went back home. So then I had to get freshened up. So we're home, we're getting the kids ready for bed. I already got my run in then. It wasn't as long as I wanted to, but safety first, right? Sarah, how was the ACS committee call? It was great. You're going to make it to a springtime surprise? They're all excited? Yeah. Do they think the baby's going to come before, during, or after? I know. I'm so, everyone just thinks it's funny that we think we'll possibly be there. Like, they're just like, you... Like... Do they know who we are, though? They do, but like, I just, I'm like, we really gotta take it day by day. Like, you really think if you had the baby the weekend before, you'd be there? I'm like, in some capacity, like, you would be. That could be, that could be through the boys. Yeah. Like, and if the baby I comes like, after, was... we could be at these things. Yeah. And like, I probably won't go to like the running events. Yeah. But like but the brunch. there's plenty of other things. The brunch or um, the expo. We'll yeah. see. We gotta see. Charlie's gonna do what Charlie wants to do. Right, and like the boys were late, like what if he's early? Yeah. I like more so if if I'm actually in labor, that's the only reason why something wouldn't, we wouldn't be there. Right, 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 right. It's like we're actually having the baby. Coming down to the line, friends. I'm going to bed. I'm not going back to the office until after Charlie's born. Very happy about that. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>